Because <laughs> I'm back in front of my people. This is awesome. You guys, welcome back. This is a nice time. It's been a tough several months. Uh, and we know that the energy dies when the people aren't within an organization. Zoom can do so much. But this is the real thing. And, and it just means a lot to be back and to be back in front of you all. Thank you for being here today. All right, so welcome to the stakeholders meeting. It's gonna be fun because we're gonna show these 60 plus thousand that we paid this month in profit share. That's huge. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Hey, Michael. Yes. I'm gonna give a quick tip for people watching from home. Yes. So you actually can click on the three little dots next to Michael's. This screen. is Gabby. I thought I was talking to God. This is good. <laughs> Gabby, yes. What did you say? It's pretty much the same, so it's okay. So um, if you're watching from home, you can click on the three little dots on Michael's screen and you can pin the video. That way you'll be looking at Michael as if you are in the CDC. And Michael, you want to walk, you just only have the space of that, yes, there, and then, yeah, and then the other side, just up to the other side of the screen, like, there. that's your limit, there, 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 don't move, yes, that's your limit, okay. There's a lot of rules going on here, say, say it one more time. <laughs> Nothing, just stay there, do not go any more left. Don't go to the left. Yeah, don't do that. No. Okay. Fair enough. All right, Fair we're gonna, we're gonna move on. <laughs> yeah, over here we got this Western Front coming in, and it's gonna it's gonna miss us probably and hit Louisiana, unfortunately. But we're in the clear over here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, truly, welcome back. Hey, BRPS title. There's a lot of rules. I hope you heard them. Come on up here, bud. <laughs> El, it's great to see you. I'm doing great. Tell us about it. Hey, I'm uh, El Crane with the LPS title. Uh, I pride myself on being a close partner. Yeah, but hold, hold on. I'm gonna get you one of these. Can you hear me now? Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm El yes. Crane with the RPS title. Um, Thank you. I pride myself on being a growth partner versus just a solicitor's title company looking to get your contracts. I left uh, our hands out handouts on the desk here, and it shows you some of the unique things that we do to help you grow your business versus solicit your business. The whole thing is, if you don't have partners that help you grow your business, why are they your partners? I'm not here to denigrate anybody, but I am here to uplift those who I work with. And I go by the mantra of my father. If you're going somewhere, take somebody with you. And that is the mantra that we use at BRPS title. We do luxury showcases. We do the builder spotlights, as it says on the card, but we do lead generation and we provide resources for the agents to do more via online listing guide, international marketing, et cetera. This is what BRPS title does. We're licensed in 33 states. And I know that Keller Williams is big on referral program back in fourth across the country, so we can help you with that. And our lead generation is nationwide as well. So we can pull data anywhere in the country to help you grow your business. So when it comes to title services, all title companies can do the same thing. When it comes to growing your business, that's what separates BRPS title from those in the marketplace. Give us a call, numbers on the card. I'm E.O. Crane, BRPS title, and I hope you guys enjoy your lunch as the rest of the day, because uh, Mr. Kelso and I, we hope we took care of you lunch wise. Okay. And, and hold on a second. Yeah, let's take that a step further. Okay. You, you do more than that. It's easy to come up here and say, we're going to grow your business. We're yeah. doing this. But you actually have a whole empowerment specifically of women. You've got a yes. whole thing that you've got. And it's been really, really inspiring yeah. for okay. a lot of people. I will share that. We have a success form program. It's called uh, Success Form. And what we do is we take 12 agents from various brokerages to show them the value of collaboration and lifting each other up to do more business together. To give you an example, we have 56 agents in the program right now from 41 different brokerages. They share their information about their listings. They share information about their fears. They share information about their weaknesses and strengths, but they lift people up. Most of the time people ask me, EO, how did you get started with that? I have seven older sisters. So basically, I'm not scared of you. Okay, a little bit, a, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> 
But what it comes down to is, is lifting each other up. It's lifting each other up. And we do these things. We meet for 90 minutes a week. And it's Q&A, it's training module, and it's sharing wins. And it's sharing what we plan on doing to uplift, uplift each other as we go forward. So think in terms of having your internal family, Keller Williams, and your external family, 12 packs of agents to work together to give you more exposure in the marketplace. Because at the end of the day, we are all about growth. We're all about synergy. We're all about lifting each other up. Because I, as I tell the agents in my weekly training, you don't compete with other agents, you compete with yourself. What you did yesterday, you should do better today. What you do today, you should do better tomorrow. That's what we do with our Success Form program. And I will get Michael to share some more information about it. Absolutely, so fantastic. And I love that you're doing that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yes, sir. Yes. I, I got the gents too, but he brought up the women. I'm just saying. He, I, I, he just brought, he brought up the women. But we do have a gents. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, Rio. And then Fairway, come on up here. From that. Tell us about it. What is going on, gang? I, uh, up until about 10 minutes ago, did not realize I was going to be speaking in front of you guys today. Uh, but thank you to Dilsey for uh, helping me uh, make sure I was ready to go. So, um, guys, I'm Matt Robertshaw with Fairway. I have not met each one of you uh, other than three minutes per Tuesday on Zoom. So I am, you can't see me behind this mask, but my smile is literally from ear to ear. Someone told me last week, they just go, give them, a, give them the eye squint or whatever. They know you're, they, you're doing something else with your mouth. Can you go to the right a little bit? Oh, here you go. How's that? Thank you. Um, so anyway, so guys, again, Matt Roberts, Howell Fairway. Um, you know, I'm your guy for, you know, we're just a flat out workhorse. Again, one of the other lenders here in the office, both Kelso and I would love to uh, help you out in any way we can. Guys, I've been seeing a lot of people on our Facebook page still to this day going, hey, I need a rep recommendation for a lender. I mean, guys, we have two lenders here in the office and not to toot our own horn, but we are, we've been in this business for a long time. We know what we're doing. We're here to help you. We want you to grow and, we, and then we end up growing in the process. So if we can help you in any way, if we can help you structure deals, if we can help you structure the financing that's gonna make that deal work. If it's down payment assistance, if it's luxury, I mean, we've, we've got some jumbo product that, that's going to help people, um, you know, with, with the way markets going right now, you know, it's different, right? We're, we're in COVID. We're, we're not in the same market we were in last year, but guys, this market is hot. I mean, it is so hot right now. And if we can do anything to help facilitate something that maybe you didn't have a product that you wish you had, uh, something to get that listing sold. Um, single property websites. I know that a lot of you have access to it. I've got it as well. If you need a single property website, or if you're looking for some marketing help, guys, I've got the resources to help you out. And, well, and let's let's elaborate on that for just a second. Single property website. I've got a listing. You've got a single property website for it. What happens when I use that, that site? So the, the great thing is, you know, I'm sure that I would say that if I were a betting man, and I am a betting man, okay. <laughs> that I would say that 95% of this room and everyone on the Zoom call is using social media. They're using some sort of social outlet to push your listings. Hey, this is coming soon. Hey, this is just listed. How are we gonna get that and make it look bigger and better versus just sending someone over to HAR? We can take all the information that's put into HAR with that MLS number and we can pull it into the program that I have and it will create with lots of different creativity, a single property website for your listing. You can put on their open house. You can put on their just listed. You can do different colors. You can even at the, you know, at the bottom of this, you're going to have a, um, a marketing partnership, obviously with myself, but there's also lead gen. So, you know, as you're sitting out there doing all this stuff on social media, and you're like, you're pushing and you're pushing, you're pushing, you're doing all this work. And all of a sudden you come back the next day and you're like, oh my gosh, my, my post got a hundred likes. Yay. The hundred likes aren't going to do anything for you. You can't sell a click and you can't sell a like. So if we can do something that can help you generate that lead to a, a tangible name, phone number, email, someone that you can follow up with. Um, so what you're saying is when they click on it, the lead will get transferred correct. over to the agent. Yes. We can even make it so that if... 
they have to put in their information just to see it. You know, we can kind of weed through some of the, the looky loos, if you will. Um, you know, bad leads, I, I call them bad leads, but you know, no leads are bad lead, but some of the, the less, uh, there's plenty of bad leads yeah. out there. Let's there's just plenty of bad leads. But that's what, you've got another touch program. Yeah. We also have that. So that's a couple of different touch, touch programs for your right. listing. Yep. And we do through our circle picks. That's yep. fantastic. A second one. And we can also do uh, in that same text, not just a uh, single property website, but we also have some lead tools that we can put together. If you're going to be doing open houses and you're going to be pushing that social media, we can do a specific link with picture in the background of the house or picture of you as your profile or whatever, so that when you're pushing it out, if people want more information, they can put in name, address, name, email address, and phone number. And again, you're generating that lead uh, generation. So awesome. Well, very good. Absolutely. Great to have you in Thank front you. of everybody. Thank you guys. I cannot even tell you how excited I am for you guys. Thank you. And Kelso. I like the way that our lenders work together. And even if it's a facade, I still like it, right? <laughs> I appreciate that. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Bo? Good, too. I can assure you it's not a facade. It uh, is not, a facade. not a facade whatsoever. Better now? You know where oh, to no. stay, Yeah, please. not a facade. I, in fact, one of the things I, I tell everybody is, remember, I, I came from Fairway, and so phenomenal company. And Matt's just a phenomenal individual as well. So uh, we talk about all that. So two things I tell everybody, what, what Matt was talking about is the market is still really hot, but it does take, it takes a village to close loans nowadays, right? Uh, and so I, I tell everybody is the best way to talk about what we do, and this was actually a, a deal we closed here, is to read what our clients think about us. And so I want to read this out to everybody really fast. So this was actually a review. They did it on Zillow, um, and I'll tell you guys why here in a minute. But it said, uh, Chris Kelso and the team were a joy to work with. They were very patient, informative, professional throughout the entire process. In the midst of a pandemic, with all the delays from inspections, requests from real estate agents, along with the rain flooding provided by Hurricane Laura, they were from Louisiana, by the way, um, and all their due diligence, uh, responses assuring my wife and I that we were on track for the closing date. It did happen as planned and I would definitely recommend them for their services. One of the things that we all know is what's going on right now in the market. Appraisals are delayed, right, Matt? Um, there's a lot of delays that are going on that sometimes are not something that we can actually control. There's a lot of third parties that Matt and I deal with all the time. But what we will guarantee is the communication to you, right? You might not like the communication sometimes, but we'll guarantee that communication to you from that perspective. And on the other side of things is, is that one of the things that we always try to tell everybody is the most important aspect of what we look at every day is where our customers stand. Um, Tanya and I talk about that all the time. It's the customer service. It's where the customers stand. Very important for us to do. And that's one of the things that we've been striving to continue to improve upon because I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm the first one to tell you is that whenever this entire change took place, <laughs> whenever there's a dark change took place uh, and the market just sort of slammed us, uh, we failed a little bit in that. And so one of the things that we've done, we've actually gone out there and hired quite a bit of new people. Yeah, there's a lot of noise in the background, isn't there? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Really? <laughs> uh, a lot of new people in the background. So you're going to see some also some additional resources we have in regards to processing and underwriting and even some additional uh, loan partners we brought on board. So FYI, thank you all very much. And like I said, you got Matt and I in this office, and I s totally get what Matt's talking about. We see this all the time. There was one, what, yesterday? You know, yesterday. Um, and so if you need anything, you have two business partners in this office that can take care of any financing needs you have, from jumbo loans, from down payment assistance, FHA, VA, conventional, you name it, we probably have it other than lot loans. That's probably the only one, I think, between us that we don't have, right? <laughs> and so uh, that's probably the only thing that exists out there. So give us both an opportunity. One of the things that I will guarantee you, you always need to have five best friends in your back pocket, right? You need to have a great lender. You've got two. You need to have a great title company. You've got, how many do you have now? A lot. A lot, right? So <laughs> you have to have a great home inspector. How many do we have now? Quite a bit, right? But they're all, they uh, yes. are all great. They are all great. You have to have... You have to have a, a great insurance company and you have to have the most amazing broker known to man, by the way. So just an FYI, right? So, uh, so you have to have all that stuff. So just an FYI, I want to leave today with a quote today's I'm getting back to my quotes, by the way, Michael. Sure. So it's a very simple, very easy one. It says the following. Everyone has inside them. 
Oh, thank you very much. My <laughs> wife is making me grow my hair long. It's the craziest thing. Everyone has inside them a piece of good news. The good news is you don't know how great you can be, how much you can love, what you can accomplish, or what your potential is. Again, my name is Chris Kelso. Thank you all very much. All right, I want to thank our platinum sponsors, North American Title with Alamo and Alamo Title, Deanna Mellis and Kathy Crittenden, Allegiance Title with Jeannie Kugler and Carla Schraub, One Guard Home Warranty with Victor Cosco and BRPS, who we met earlier today with E.L. Crane. Now, this is awesome. This is just for September, the cappers that we had, and that is a record for us in one month. Needless to say, we got the revenue this next month, we, need, we could use some more cappers because this is, this is a record, this is amazing. So everybody made it happen this last month and I, I'm so impressed. I'm gonna read these guys off because that's over the top. I've never had this many. Jabak, Jennifer Barrett, Pat Brinzel, Colette Mayers, Lourdes Kadina, Candice Cotton, Joe Diasana, Clara Maddox, Kate Ferguson, Gina Fisher, Ryan Gaze, Brandy Heckeroth, Miriam Hajazi, Joe Jack, Lily Jang, Sophia Lombardi, Charlene McNeil, Tanya Pruitt, Tina Schwartz, Kelly Summer, Jen Tran, Kimberly Vargas, and Ariana Wang. Congratulations. That's a Herculean effort. And more than half that group did it in half the time that they did it the previous year. In half the time. I went back and took a look. Fantastic Four, agents closing four transactions. Usually in an office our size, if we have 12, that's a lot. To close four transactions in a month, you know what that takes. It's taking so much more time and effort to close a deal and to close at least four. We had an agent close 19 this month. She's never had anything like that. So it's happening, but it takes a Herculean effort, much more than before, just to get through the minutia, to get through how do you get that many appraisals to happen on time and close all in a month. Congratulations to these guys, and I'm, I'm so proud of them. Danny Antello, Patricia Brand, Pat Brenzel, Ashley Burton-Smith, Wendy Klein, Drew De Silva, Jody Asana, um, Brad Evans, Chris Feacock, Monsi Foster, Lindsay French, Blanca Garza, Brandy Heckeroth, Ryan Hunsaker, Patty Hurtada, Joe Jack, Lily Jang, Matt Johnson, Sissy Ma, Callie McLaughlin, Paige Martin, Aaron Massengill, Jessica Moreno, gotta take a breath here. Tao Wen, Melanie Pippery, Tanya Pruitt, Shirley Ching, Kim Roberts, Jen Tran, Owen Tredenick, uh, Kim Vargas, Jerry Vasek, Ada Wing, and Olga Zana. Congratulations, huge. And you guys can do this too. And this is our club elite. So this is, these are the agents who finished in the top percentile within the office. So in the top, top percentile, and it's over a quarter. So now it's about the consistency. It's not a one and done month. These agents are Paige Martin, Danny Antello, Wendy Klein, Joe Diasana, uh, Jen Larson, Lily Jang, Tanya Blandini, Claudia Helmond, Drew De Silva, Brandy Heckeroth, Melanie Pippery, Sepia Kabi, Michael Burrell, Yolanda Ames, Brenda Hernandez, Lisa Iglesias, Ryan Hunsaker. Ryan Hunsaker is out traveling right now, but because his business is listing based, he was still able to do this. He's having the time of his life in Yellowstone right now. James Selick, Patty Hurtada, Callie McLaughlin, Tao Wynn, Travis Nichols, Paul Holub, Jessica Moreno, Genevieve Rowland, Kate Ferguson, Courtney Williams, Brad Evans, Ada Wang, Shirley Ching, Patricia Brand, Jennifer Barrett, Blanca Garza, Alex McCauley, Kat Curtis, and Ashley Tilton. Congratulations. That is another huge one. The numbers they hit, amazing. Uh, on the culture side, we have some big things going on within the market. Obviously, we have, we have companies that we've supported, organizations that we've supported that need help. They need help because they are not real estate. Real estate hasn't stopped. But Brookwood is a company that needs help. It's not a company, it's an organization that takes in people and it's not about the money they make from these people, right? It's about, they are a caring heart that started this organization years and years ago because the owner's daughter was special needs. And so they thought, let's buy some land way out in the middle of nowhere. It turns out it's one stop away from my house now. But, <laughs> but yeah, I know, it's still nowhere. 
but amazing what they've done. So our goal is to support this group at Brookwood. And if you haven't had an opportunity to be out there, this is one that even the coldest person, if you are the Grinch, your heart will grow three sizes after you go here. And so this is a tough one for us to talk about it every week because it's like, how do I do it? You can certainly put it on your green sheet. You can, there's a hundred ways to do this, but we have to support causes like this because these are the one shining light in a very dark business climate this company stands for that, and it's important. When we give money to KW Cares, that's money that's going to another agent. And this isn't like a PBS call-a-thon thing. This is about reality. What companies give back at the level that this company does? For those of you that are new, you haven't seen it yet. Wait till the next tragedy happens, because it will happen, right? I'm not Nostradamus, but we're gonna have a challenge, and KW Cares is here to support that. Our culture committee is here to support it. So we have to figure out how we transfer whatever that energy is into helping this organization so they will be here tomorrow because COVID is doing everything they can to stop this organization from being able to afford the salaries of the people that work there. We have no monetary gain when they succeed or fail, but we do have a cultural component that drives this company when a place like this is continue, able to continue on. So just keep that in mind. And if you wanna be a part of the culture committee, the meeting's tomorrow. We would love to have you there. It's on Thursday. Hey, Michelle, tell me about this Brookwood place. Well, it's a place for people with disabilities. Um, we have jobs here, such as the cafe, the garden center, um, ceramics, um, horticulture. We have a bunch of uh, jobs that we do, different jobs that we do. Um, we also um, do a lot of activities here with Greg. He's our um, activities coordinator, and he's awesome. He really is. We do stuff like go out and feed the homeless, and it's really cool because we get to go and get back to the um, community, and that's really awesome because God has really blessed me at Brookwood by having a job here. And I couldn't do it without um, everybody out there that gives donations to um, work with. It really is a good cause. And I hope if you're out here, you would come and see exactly what we do at work community. So that's the organization that we're trying to support. And it's, it's great that someone who is able to be there, the first thought they have is we get to go out and help others. That's a resident there who wants to go out and help others. Those are the people we want to help. All right, KW Cares. This last month we did $1,455.50. Our goal is 15,000. Obviously COVID had its, its impact on us, but we already have it up there. Already at, uh, what's our total on that? I guess we're 50 plus away. Our actual is actually the actual what we're going for. But it's all right, we got 65% of the goal. It would be great if we could hit it. That money stays within KW. So when there's a hurricane that hits Louisiana and we have the money that goes into KW Cares, it goes directly to that family that is a KW agent. There is no money that goes to some other organization. When you take a look and you take a look at things like United Way, and I'm not knocking United Way, even though they, they keep 70% of it through administrative costs, here, zero dollars goes to administrative cost. It all goes to an agent that's suffering. So remember that when you have a deal that closes and you say, hey, let me give 20 bucks. You can put that on your green sheet and eventually it won't be a green sheet after this next couple of weeks, but it'll go to an organization that really does care and makes a difference in the world. And it happens to be the company you work at. So thank you. All right, Halloween decorating contest. Um, coming up here, in fact, we'd love for you to start now. Top prize, $200. I want you to decorate your door, your house, your door. If you want to do it here, I don't think there's an issue if anybody wanted to do it here, on their own personal door if you have renting space. Otherwise, you can do your house. You're going to decorate anyways, probably. Take a picture of it, send it in. We'll post it. Somebody's going to pick the winner. I'm not sure how that's going to be, but we're going to do that. Uh, so the 25th is the last day to get it done. Don't wait till the 25th to do it. Um, just knock it out and love to have you guys participate.
That was a question. Can past clients participate? I'm going to go ahead and say that is beyond my job description. And no. Dilsey says no, so the answer is no. Uh, yeah, OK, you can't do it. <laughs> Dilsey's passionate about this one. All right, trunk or treat. This one will be for agents, families, October 28th, 6 o'clock. So candy, entertainment, uh, decorations, much more. Come to this. Right, we're gonna do this the right way out in the back over here. We've already worked through it with the landlord. Just you know, come on out. We would love to have your um, participation in this. That'd be a fun way to get out. Heck yeah. So put it down on the 28th. All right, tribes. So we're getting traction in different tribes, but the idea is when we throw out the name of something, well, what do you do with it from there? Like, what is a tribe? Do I have Kate on right now? Hey, Michael, I think I was going to be talking for Kate. Okay. All right, Sophia, tell us about it. You've got a tribe. Uh, what tribe is that? Okay, so we came up with this idea a couple of weeks ago, a baking tribe. And I am trying to come up with some ideas. Uh, one, with the holidays being right around the corner, uh, we could certainly do a cookie exchange. I thought maybe next month we could do a... Um, uh, you know, anything and everything pumpkin. We can share recipes. Hopefully when COVID starts to loosen up, we can start going on some sort of field trips or, uh, you know, baking together. So I would like to get some input from people in the office that might be interested. The best way to reach me is text. I will put my number in the chat. And uh, that's it on the baking tribe. Um, there are other tribes. There's a wine tribe. I know y'all are trying to get a poker tribe together. Uh, next week, Friday, Kate wanted me to let everybody know, Friday evening, there will be a family game night at seven o'clock. So I'm sure that there will be more information sent out about that uh, with the link. Uh, what else? Uh, I think I already said wine tribe. There's a rosary tribe that gets together on Friday mornings to pray the rosary. Uh, Michael, what am I forgetting? What other tribe? Oh, there's a book club. Uh, so, and, and if you have an idea for a tribe, you know, let us know. This is a great way to take this very big office and break it down into smaller groups of people that have things in common so that we can get to know each other and, uh, you know, not feel like we walk into an office and don't recognize any faces. So please you, uh, let us know. So on the book club, for instance, getting people together or to show up on a Zoom and talk about it has proven challenging. So one idea that came up uh, was everybody reads their chapter, if you're going to be in the book club, whatever book that you guys all agree to, then you post online on the Facebook, hey, here's what I thought of the chapter, here's how I interpreted it. So you don't have to be right there at the same time. You can post for the day or for the couple of days. Next chapter is chapter 16 of whatever book, and we'll be talking about this in depth, and it just is something that is an online portal, so you don't have to be there right then, because that's what's proven challenging. People want to be in a book club, but to get them consistently there is always a challenge. It was like that before COVID. So those ideas are out there. On the baking tribe, one of the ideas was they have a contest. We're gonna bake whatever cookie, whatever pie, and then someone can judge this. They can go around to the different houses and try some of it and post who had the best. Something that builds engagement, but it's not necessarily tied to a timeline. That's the challenge. So your input matters. Every month we have a tribes committee. It just ended uh, an hour ago, but your input on how to structure it. Chris, when is the poker? Let's, let's solidify the date because you and I talked about this. Okay, so the last Tuesday of the month, and where would that be held? Okay, at KW Memorial. So we have to limit it, of course. So this would be an RSVP. Chris, do they RSVP with you? Okay, so Chris says that he's putting it together with Jorge. It'll go out, but it'll be like in this room. We only could limit it to, you know, the people that are in this room. Okay, so what Chris is saying is food and everything will be provided and something about libations. I have no idea what that is. All right, thank you. Family reunion. So we have this tribe that also happened. We had a record number of people attend Megacamp. So 
That said, we typically have 20 people that go to mega camp. We had over 100 that attended this last one, and they got a lot from that. This is going to be actually in Las Vegas. So we want to get, we'd like to see if we can get 100 to that as well. We know the agents who go outperform the agents who don't. They just, you grow exponentially when you watch somebody that does five times your production tell you specifically what they're doing. And they show you and they share that listening presentation. So the goal is, we want to get as many people to this as possible. Yes, there is a cost associated with it. We'll get you that information as it becomes available. But it's something that looks like it actually is going to happen. There'll be 20,000 people there, and you should be one of them. But we want to make it the safest experience for you, as well as the most advantageous for your career. And we'll continue to provide you with information every week. Happy birthday to John Wynn and Michael Vasquez, tomorrow Brad Armies, Jack Winkler, Jonathan Johnson, Katie Thompson, and Peyton Price on the 15th, Bernard Marino and Susie Yu. On the 16th, Whitney Wilrich. On the 17th, Donald Wynn, Emily Kung. And on the 18th, David Solano and Imani Norman. Because we're not having a team meeting next week, it's ALC. Let's wish everyone else a happy birthday. Christina Lee, uh, Jim Shelton, Lily Simi, and Norman Vranken. Gosh. And you got a bunch of people you share a birthday with. October 21st, Cassandra Ligon and Jab Back. On the 22nd, Laura Lund. On the 23rd, Mariah Matijowski. On the 24th, Ariana Wang and Maggie Smith. The 25th, Coral Sharp, Lucinda Robles, T. Yu, and Zhu Lin, Abby Lin. And on the 26th, Monica Alvarado, Tara Handel, and William Harris. Happy birthday, everybody. Absolutely. And nothing's more fun and celebrating your birthday and getting profit share. And that happens on the 21st of every month. So on the 21st of this month, we took not quite half of our profits, almost half. The company made 64,000. They would have made 62,000 more if we didn't do this crazy thing called profit share. This is actually legit profit share. It's not, hey, here's some phantom stock. This is real money that went to people in profit share this month. Most of it stayed in this office. We have some people who brought people in and they're at another KW, so it goes to them. But every month we're doling out money thus far. Don't know where we're at, 315,000. So we didn't pay a lot of profit share the previous three months, and now it's ramping up. Our profit is continuing to grow because of what's going on in the market. So as you add someone to the company, someone joins and they put you down as a sponsor, they have to put somebody down why not you? You get paid profit share as long as we're profitable, which we have been for every month for the last 12 years. So introduce people to KW. We're going to take care of you because we believe in sharing our profits with our agents that help us grow the company. Now we have a new property management company. This is the company that I sold mine to this company, to First Choice, and they're really good at it. They actually have really, really good follow through. And they have over a thousand properties that they manage throughout three major cities. So this is a great organization. Martha is running the show and she runs a very, very tight ship. 877-904-7368. Um, when you refer somebody to them, they pay you a better referral fee than I did. They pay $500. Doesn't matter if that property is a $700 you know, a month unit. They're still going to pay $500, even though they're only making a percentage of the, that amount. They want a long-term relationship with you, and they do it very successfully. I wanted to find the best company so far. These guys have been the best. Seller's Edge. This is the opportunity that many of you missed out on that you will have again. So Seller's Edge is a program, and I know that we've got Isla on right now, so I'm gonna just give the brief on this. Agents that are in this program, they can go to that expired listing that someone else had say oh, i looked at your property i noticed that the tile you got three different types of tile in the house right now or the countertops need some work or the house needs paint and the client is able to get that done without having to pay for any of it until the house closes there's plenty of owners that are cash poor but equity rich and this program helps them at a very high level. A concierge comes in and takes care of everything, which means you don't have to do that. Someone else takes care of it, but you're the one who benefits from it. And before I take away all your steam, um, Isla, are you there? 
I am here. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you. So you administer this program. Tell us a little bit about it and how it's going so far here. Gladly. So uh, we rolled this program out about two months ago with your office with the KW Memorial crew and so far it's been going great. Uh, we've had some wonderful feedback about the benefits of this program and as Michael just really summed up in a super high level summary, our goal is to really help you help your clients, right? Having clients with, with imperfect homes, needing some assistance to get it ready for market, we understand that's a lot to put on your plate and more often than not, it's really beneficial if you can outsource that to us and allow your clients to defer the cost of the improvement until the home sells. So our goal is to really help oversee the process of determining what improvements will be best to maximize the home's return, return uh, helping manage the bidding process, helping manage the actual scope of the work that's being done. Um, and also helping you outsource being the bad guy so that you don't have to be the one to tell your client, your carpet's great, but I think you should rip it all out. Or your furniture is lovely, but I really think you need a stage, right? Sometimes those conversations can be difficult. So we wanna help take that burden. And like I said, deferring that cost to close oftentimes makes this really beneficial and if nothing else convenient for the clients that you work with. Um, so, so you guys have a concierge that comes in and does all of that. Someone who's a professional in that scope of giving advice now, what if they don't take advice? What's the cost? There's no cost to your client if they choose not to move forward. And I'm actually joined as well by one of our designers, Rachel Woods, who wanted to pop in and briefly introduce herself. She is in your area. She works with uh, many of your clients once you submit them to the program to help provide that guidance. And she's on here today. So you can put the face to the name real quickly, Rachel, if you wouldn't mind saying a quick hello. Um, nice to meet you all. I am one of the designers here in Houston um, who works with Seller's Edge and um, I'm excited to meet you. Thanks. Well, let me ask you a question. We're still dealing with, with um, when they don't show up on time, let's say a contractor doesn't show up on time, how do we save face with the client who feels like we're responsible for that? What accountability is there for um, this program so that we can get the best vendors that are also the most professional? Well, that is a great question. And that is an issue that really our program is intended to solve because you put that responsibility on us when you use our program. And our goal is to reputationally support you, of course, maintain our good, our good standing with clients as well, but ensure that the vendors that are coming to do the work and provide bids are not only licensed and insured vendors exclusively, but also vendors that are going to provide a standard of work, a standard of professionalism that aligns with the KW Memorial name and, you know, aligns with the level of service that you hope to give to your clients. So if a, a vendor doesn't show up, we have an agreement with every vendor that we work with that allows us to hold them accountable and prioritize the client's best interest. And that means replacing a vendor, getting someone new in there as soon as possible to complete the work. If a vendor walks off a job, we're there to step in and make it happen so that there's a solution in place. Awesome. So now we have three classes coming up uh, with the certification. So October 14th, October 16th, and October 21st. They take less than an hour to get certified. Now there is a cost to it, but it leaves you in the program. It's a, it's a yearly membership to have this. When you have this in your arsenal and you're able to talk to a seller and say, by the way, I have this, no one else does. Compass has a program, okay, it's not this program. At Compass, you're limited to 3% of the sales price. So what does that mean? Well, $200,000 property, that client can get $6,000, which doesn't get you a whole lot. And this one, it's based off the equity in the property. So I look, if and we have not rehearsed this, at least not in a while. Um, if the person has a $200,000 property and they have $150,000 in equity, but they don't have a dime in their pocket, how much could they conceivably get? 
So we will look at the equity and the value of the home. We don't give a client a pre-approval and say, hey, this is the amount that you get. What we'll do is a client will say, I really need staging, painting, and flooring. We have an idea of what that costs in your market. We know that they have $150,000 of equity. We have an idea as well of what the cost will be for commissions and other closing costs. So what we'll do is evaluate the work that they want to do and ensure that, of course, there's equity in the home to pay for it and front that cost directly to the vendors. No money is exchanged between the hands of the client, but we take care of everything. And based on them having $150,000 of equity, we can support the improvements that they'd like to do. So there's no real hard, fast rule. We look for typically at least, you know, 30% equity in the home roughly, but it's all really relative based on the work they want to do. If they don't want to do much work, then there's not much we're looking for, right? But if they want to do $100,000 worth of work, then that's a conversation we'll have and um, ensure that that's possible for them. And what liability does the agent have should this person just skip town? That's also a great question. As agents, you are not liable through this program. Notice this program specifically. You are not liable for any improvements that your client takes advantage of if they fall off the face of the earth tomorrow. There's other programs in the market. And I'll go over during these meetings we have coming up the differences between the Seller's Edge program and other programs at other brokerages. But it's really important to note that you will have no liability through the Seller's Edge program. Our agreement is between your client and us. However, we require that they remain listed with you for the duration of the project. That was so important. No if the house expired, that was really important, right? If that house was to expire, it just didn't sell. The market took a turn. As long as they relist with you, they can continue on for up to a year in the program. Now, if you can't sell the house in a year, you know, we got some challenges on pricing and some other things. We know the condition's great. It's going to be on the pricing. But that's powerful. That's powerful. They have to stay with you. Guys, there is no better program. If you're not in it, get in it and use it. I have other agents that are using this to get listings. That's what we got. So how do I register? You'll go to zoomcasta.com slash seller's edge. You'll fill out a form that essentially says you're opting into the service. You want to get the links to training. We will send you information for payment as well as links to training so that you can attend one of the sessions that works best with your schedule and get all the information you need. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Awesome. Yes, I will personally do it. You all, you got it. Uh, tr <laughs> Transaction coordinators, Don Shelton and Melissa Ramirez, they are here to take care of you. So if you choose to, all you need to do is contact them and they will take care of handling the transaction from escrow to close or from listing to escrow or from listing to close. So they'll do it all for you. Uh, it's a modest fee when you think about the work that goes into something like this. You're going to spend 10 hours on a transaction at least. Here they take care of it and it's like $300. What the tech, Gabby? Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share my screen. And by the way, the registration link for Sellers Edge is also on our training calendar. Okay, so first I wanted to show you something like pretty basic. But um, they have changed where things are inside Matrix. They have, I guess, upgraded um, everything in there. So just in case you don't find things such as where does your signature come from whenever you send anything from Matrix, I just want to show you where that is because I've seen a lot of things being sent from agents um, without signatures and that comes from matrix so i just want to make sure that you guys know where to find that in case you need to either change anything in there or just literally just create it because you need a signature so once you are in matrix you want to go to the top right corner um, where your name is going to be you click there and then you're going to click on settings once you are on settings you're going to click on my information right here is the first option and once you're there, you can make sure that everything in here is correct. But the one that I want to show you is email signature. So you click in there 
And then just make sure that you guys are adding both your IABS and consumer protection notice um, links in there. And then just whatever you guys wanna put as a signature. You're welcome to copy paste anything that you're using in your emails, whatever works for you, and then make sure you save. But go check that out to see what you have. If you haven't done this in probably more than five years, you probably don't even have anything in there anymore. So make sure you guys check your matrix signature. That was one thing. And the second thing is, um, all of you have access to see your previous transactions and your current transactions as well. So when you go to MyKW, um, where you see your profile here, top left corner, right next to your picture, you're gonna see reports. So if you click into reports, that is going to take you to, clicking right now, it's a little slow. So it's gonna take you to this page. And if you hover over reports and then you go to associate, you can actually see your closed transactions list. If you just click on it, it's gonna give you your current year. But if you click on the little yellow folder, then it gives you the option to go back to any other year that you've been with us and you have transactions. So you have access to all that just in case you didn't know. You definitely and, can experiment in there. There's a ton of ton of information there. There is. And then also, hopefully you guys are taking advantage of the training that we're doing. We already started on Monday. Every Monday and every Wednesday, you guys can learn how to do your commissions replacement of green sheets, I guess. Um, I have so we already started. In here in that, hold on, Gabby. Did I have anybody in here in that training yesterday? How was it, Renit? Is it, it, does it look like it's going to be difficult at all to do this? No. It, okay, fair enough. It's going to be easy. Yes, and also today, all of you already received a video. It's only 18 minutes, and it's pretty much the same thing that we go over in the class, but it's just without the questions. So you already have that. Awesome. Thank you, Gabby. All right, KW Marketing Suite. So guys, we have such a cool product here. We have our own marketing department. There's 900 Keller Williams offices. They don't have this. And this is something that Naomi put together on the branding side. Many of you have already worked with her, but there's a lot that's offered. And we'd love for you to be able to take a look at it. Do I have Naomi on? Yep, I'm here. Talk to us. Hi guys, so I don't have permission to share my screen quite yet, but um, the marketing suite is doing great work. And so I wanted to talk through with you guys um, on how to find that link when you're looking to schedule an appointment with me. So anything that you wanna purchase on this marketing suite, you're gonna wanna start with a consultation, whether it be listing marketing, your digital marketing, whether you're looking for branding, all the consultations are free to you guys. So I make, I make myself available on Zoom. My calendar is available to you guys and you can go in and book whatever time is most convenient for you. Um, if you go to kwmarketingsuite.com. You can there, try to share now, Naomi. Oh, I can share now? Okay, thank you, Gabby. Um, so, this is what the website's gonna look like. Again, that's kwmarketingsuite.com. And once you type that in, you'll just go to this contact tab and it'll launch you right to where you can schedule a consultation. And here you'll see a 30 minute branding consultation. So the best fit for that is if you're looking to have a logo made, um, a logo remade, business cards designed or anything to that effect, that's a good consultation to link for that one. The second one is a 15 minute listing consultation. And with this one, if you have a specific listing that you'd like me to look at and come up with a marketing plan for with you, um, email me the address to that listing so I can come prepared with a target audience report before your appointment. Um, that way we can review it together and come up with some different strategies that might help get your listing sold. The third thing is an hour long social media audit. And with that, I'm just going to sit with you, talk through what your social media goals might be, and then talk to you about how you can implement them. So 
If the next step is doing a tutorial on Canva on how to create your own custom graphics or how to create your own custom videos, we can go through those steps and I can show you exactly how you'll be able to do those. And then lastly is a marketing suite orientation call. So if you just want me to walk you through every item on the site and tell you what the turnaround time is, what you can expect in terms of file formats and those things, you can do that as well. So those are the four appointment types. They are all virtual for the KW Marketing Suite and that's the way you're gonna wanna get started with any of the items we have available on our website. So what Thank would a you. branding consultation run, Naomi? All the appointment types are free. I don't charge for any sort of consultation. So um, in any way that I can help you guys, even if you just wanna sit down and look at a logo and say, this is my current logo, should I change it? The answer might be no, but I'm happy to sit down for 30 minutes and talk through it with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great, great service. All right, guys, so let's pretend that it's January 1st as opposed to October or whatever it is. If you were to start over today, how prepared are you for 2021? Some of you write down a goal, but it's not really thought through. Or many of you haven't written through a goal, but we're going to get through this. I'd like to just read something to you that ties in with how do you create your comeback? And this is right out of the real estate magazine that you all should be getting, but I'd like you to listen to this. It's only one page and it's written by Brian Buffini. And look, I'm not selling Buffini, although his program makes a lot of sense, especially in a market like this. We're gonna show you numbers in a few minutes and yeah, we're gonna go a little over, but I'm asking that you indulge me because this will be worth it because I've got a path here for you. So what you can do now to win 2021. 2020 has been a very challenging year filled with difficulties. While it might be tempting to simply count down the days until the year is over, now is actually the perfect time to start looking to the future and proactively plan for the year to come. Take steps right now to set yourself up for phenomenal success in 2021. First off, Make time to reflect. No matter how busy you are, reflection pays off. When you take time to reflect on the past, you can move into the future with a renewed sense of purpose and direction. Ask yourself what goals you achieved in 2020 and what obstacles you encountered. There's no need to beat yourself up in any goals fell by the wayside, but be honest and take stock of where you are right now to assess what you need to do to move forward. And that's an area that we just miss. It's January 1st, I plan my goals, uh, New Year's resolution, and then I fall off. We gotta chunk these things. Everything needs to be chunked. That's the way we find the best success. Find your focus. In difficult times, we can lose our way in think and grow rich. Napoleon Hill taught that in order to be successful, you must really think, actually spend time sitting and thinking getting into that quiet place. Ask yourself, where are your thoughts and energy directed? What do you want to achieve in 2021? If you don't take the time to figure this out, you risk drifting along with no sense of purpose, constantly making short-term decisions, feeling overwhelmed, and never living the life you want. Zero in on your focus and then build a solid plan around it. And finally, build reserves. You have to have learned this, especially from this past year. If there's anything this year has taught us, it's the importance of reserves, both financial and emotional. Peaks and valleys will always be a constant in life, which is why it's crucial to get into the habit of saving so that you have the ability to cover personal home and even business expenses in difficult times. In addition to financial reserves, you also need emotional strength, which you can build by committing into ongoing personal growth and development. And if you didn't have the financial or emotional reserves to draw on this year, start building them now so you always have a safety net going forward. Going forward. This is so important, it seems so trivial, but it's so true. This year we got to see what happens when the emotional tank gets low, when we get hit with one thing after another, after another, and then there's an election coming. No matter what happens, it's going to happen. And you just need to be prepared that we know something is gonna happen, good or bad, big or small, it's going to happen. Let's be focused on being prepared and not worrying so much about it. A 
I'll take this. All right. Now let's break down kind of what we just went through and put a, what I just said and take a look at some quick reports. It's important you do know your numbers. If you're not a numbers person, don't shut down now. Just take it in. This is all of Houston, and then it breaks down KW Memorial. So if we took a look at all the listings taken, the HAR volume in September was $5 billion, right? $5.2 billion. Um, this office did 114, almost 115 million listings taken. Now, in August, a month ago, we did about the same. We did 115 million. HAR did 5.4 billion. Basically, we're down ever so slightly, less than a point. Not worried about that. But if you take a look at September of 2019, we're up 28%. We did 89 million, and now we're doing 114 million. Just go back a year. So that looks good, right? And if we looked at all, all charts and analysis, great. Contracts written, this would be the listing site only. Your listing had a contract written on it, whether you were the one who wrote it or another agent did. The HAR volume, uh, 3 billion. Our office on list side, 60 million. Now, last month in August, we did 60 million. R did about the same. Nothing changed that month, that month. But from last year, September of last year, we did 43 million. That's up 40%. And HAR is way up too. So everything is way ahead for the month of September. Closed production on the list side. So now an offer's written. Now here's the closings. We had 3.4 billion for HAR. Um, our, often, our office did 54 million. Now we're starting to all drop a little bit. Even though last year, we're ahead by 29% over where we were now. We're ahead by 29%. That was for last year. But from last month, we take a slight dip. It's 1%. But 1% turns into two, turns into five, turns into more. We just need to be prepared. Same thing with HAR. Now, production side sell side. So you represent the buyers now. We're up 52% because we did 49 million last year. This year we did 75 million. And less, we're, we're the only one that's up. We're up 0.05%. Nothing, it's, it's something to sneeze at. It's not a big deal. Everybody's down. We're up ever so slightly, but everybody's trending downward. Closed production total. So all the production Hard did 6 billion, we did 129 million. Everybody's down slightly, although we're up 41% over where we were last year for the month. So again, it's just a trend. If you take a look at everything since in the last 12 months, Hard did 65 billion, we did 1.1 billion. There's over 2,000 brokers in Houston, people brokers like We represent a pretty good chunk if you think about it. We did a billion of the 60 plus billion, even though there's 2,000 other companies out there. So it, it, out of all of this, just know we're seeing some slight dips across the board. It's ever so small, but just be aware of it. Just be aware of it. All right, digital experience. October 20th, bold starts. This will insulate you from the drop that we're feeling, right? Take bold. You learn how to really lead generate. It's going to be the people that lead generate that are going to make it, and they're going to make it at a very high level. And it's the third version of the Zoom style of bold take it it's almost free i feel like i'm working at a at a shop at a corner saying hey almost free it is almost free how much is it 79 dollars. that's almost free a year ago it was 799 dollars. so almost free take this course you get a sale which you will you're going to average about nine sales if you take it with integrity during the about 12 weeks following and i'll pay for your bold all right, I want to thank our gold partners, Hercules Packers and Movers, Camille Fay, Acosta Agency, James Acosta, Fixed with Justin Southwell, Leger Insurance with Kathy Leger, and Brian and Brian Inspections with Christopher Enright, uh, Cinch Home Services with Lois Ellis, Proct Insurance with Scott Proct. I'm used to looking at a screen, like a Zoom screen. Um, Super Home Warranty with Jean Antone, and Old Republic Home Protection with Tammy Rose. 
Go for Rent with Jonathan Coleman, Who Said Insurance with Jasmine Sicko, Home Warranty of America with Stacey Tierheimer, and High Tech Home Inspections, Rachel Williams. Thank you for being our sponsors. And these are our coaching uh, clients that had their first place in listings for the month. Um, Alex Ellerin, second place with Marcelo Bendela, and he's also a dentist. And Linda Ramos, third place. Congratulations. Now, for top clothes volume, Kelly Summer, first place. Lindsay French, second place. And Marianela Mendez, third place. So agents and coaching in accountability, they sell. First closings, Jesus Vasquez, Pauline Lee, and Nelly Mendez. And every one of these people that are in coaching, they did activity last month. So they actually have either closings or they wrote contracts, they took listings. People in coaching do more activity across the board. And they represented 78,000 of the 500,000 in company dollar that we brought in. Upcoming trainings, Ignite. So we have a specific Ignite instructor now. Uh, is instructor, instructor now. So James is fantastic. He takes you start to finish through all the Ignite sessions. So this is someone who that's what he does, Ignite. If you'd like to retake it, you can, because we take care of the service. He works for us. Uh, and it's about to start up again, October 19th. You want to get going again? Get into Ignite again. October 19th, 8.30 to 12.30. And then Ignite at night, five classes for dual career agents, primarily 6 to 9 p.m. And this is on Mondays. Coaching program. You want to get into coaching? 8.30 to 9 every, Monday, every morning, Monday through Friday. That's how you get into it. So just log into that link and see what it's about. And then commissions, we've got the classes that commenced yesterday. We already had some people take it. They're gonna do two of these a week, two a week. That might even be a question on Kahoot, I don't know. Um, but go ahead and sign up for it. I know it says like it's an hour plus long. If you just watch the video, it's 18 minutes. It's the stopping along the way to make sure that you know how to do it that takes the time, which is great. Seller's Edge, if you don't make these, because you have to go through the training in order to use the program. You can't come to me like we had probably 15 people do saying, I have a listing appointment, how do I get in it? They have to train you first, you have to be certified or you need to share that listing with someone who's got it. Bulletproof your transactions, our preferred partners are gonna help us with that. You heard Chris Kelso say, look, it's taken a lot longer. Well, how do I bulletproof the transactions? Come to that Wednesday, October 14th, two to three. And then the ALC committees, if you want to get on ALC, do a committee first, just show up to one. We could use your help. International committee, um, 12 to one, growth committee, one to two, education committee, two to three, commercial, three to four, financial, it's in the morning, nine to 10, luxury, 10 to 11. Hey, I'm not a luxury agent, come to the meeting anyway. Culture committee, 11 to 12, we need your help. We need your ideas. We, we want you to be a part of the company, and this is the best way to help the company and to feel good about what you're doing. And that's Thursday, October 15th. Millionaire Mondays, you've already finished Ignite. Hop into Millionaire Mondays and get that next level of training. And we thank Kate Ferguson and David Gaffrick. Dot Loop, October 19th, 1.30 to 3, Chuck Roush. Agent Leadership Council. So this meeting is next week. You're all invited to attend. You just don't have a voice. Thursday, you have a voice. You can go into those meetings and say whatever you want. I mean, if you have Tourette's, we want you to tone it down. But other than that, we want you to do something to contribute to it. Whatever you say, if the group deems it like, okay, that will propel us forward, then that comes to the committee meeting that we have. You're all invited to it. You just don't have a voice at the ALC. The 15 agents on the committee carry your voice. Contract challenge, come to this. If you haven't written a contract or haven't written one in a while, you're gonna go through different variations of a contract. Toastmasters, so we don't have it this week because Thursday we have all these committee meetings, but October 22nd, next week we're gonna have it again. Love to have you, 10.30 to 11.30. Cost you nothing. We're the only Toastmasters in the country and there's about 10,000 chapters where it doesn't cost you anything. You pay for it. We care about building you. That's one of the ways we show it. Website workshop. So how do you put your website together? What does that look like? We're here to support you with that. 
October 22nd, 1.30 to 3. And then Marilyn O'Neill, in case you were thinking about getting out of the business, this will help you. Uh, <laughs> October 26th, she's not on. Uh, 1 to 4 o'clock, you'll learn how to do it right. This is the lady that knows all about writing a contract, how to deal with the other agent, specifically what the laws are around it. Goal setting, that's the worst. Um, but <laughs> let's get your goals right. November 4th, let's get you set up right. Take it, take it, come prepared to at least do some of these pieces. You don't have to do them all, or you could do them all, but that's where your success is going to be. When you lay out your plan, when you've reflected, and now we're ready to move forward. Property tour. Holly, are you on? All right. Carmen, there you are. Can we get her a mic? Uh, yes. Let's get you a mic so that people at home can hear you. Okay. Uh, this is at the heart of Rice Military. 804 Marlow Street is right on a corner and happened to have a separate and uh, individual extra parking space right next to it is a four bedroom three and a half uh, bath very well kept and decorated uh, so it's for four hundred seventy eight thousand dollars just fresh in the market seven days there is an open house this Sunday Please bring me buyers. <laughs> All right. And Carmen. I have this rental. It's back on the market uh, and is uh, 4500 These have an extended uh, yard, beautiful yard with pool and spa. Uh, this is right in Lakes on Elridge, four bedroom, three and a half bath also. And it's like having your own spa. Let me tell you. In the time of pandemic, this is the house that you need, and we never know if it's going to happen again to uh, with us. So you should buy this house just in case we have another pandemic. No, we're going to lease it. It is for lease. We had uh, an expat there, and they're being relocated, mm -hmm. so it's back on the market. We're seeing a lot of that in Lakes and Eldridge. Yeah. All right. Christina, are you on? Matterport. Is this Brenda? Brenda, are you there? I am here. I see that you're still running late. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Fair cool. enough. So this property is a, it's on 5418 Valerie Street. Um, it's Santa Barbara inspired chic home. It's in Rayborn Country Club Estates in Bel Air. It's got five beds, five pool and one half bath. If you look at the ceilings in the living room, it's a it's two story ceiling, so it's just got that grand, elegant feeling. The primary and guest rooms are on the first floor. It's got a private office, game room, theater room, but then also for those wine fanatics, it has a 500 bottle wine cellar in the dining room. So it's really great. Come check it out. Awesome. A huge lot. <laughs> All right, I want to thank our silver partners, Tick House with Marjorie Blankenship, U.S. Health with Priscilla Moreno, and utility, uh, Empire Utility Concierge with Sarah Flores. Okay, our weekly listing contest. We're not doing the money tree right now, so we're going to do the wheel. This is what the wheel looks like, because I know many of you saw it on your computer. So if you had a listing last week and got it in, these are the agents that had it, we're going to be spending. The first one will be for $25. So let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, Danny Antello, you just won $25. Next one for 50. All right, Brenda Hernandez. I need you to get a listing and get it in the system. And get in and this one, $100. Let me find you just won a hundred dollars. Congratulations. All right, let's get into Kahoot. 
Um, we'll do 100. So go to kahoot.it, everybody. And if you haven't done this before, just go to kahoot.it, trust me. And all the questions are going to come from the team meeting today. This is for $100. The faster you get in, the more points you get. So just imagine you're out of Fridays, even though they close a lot of them down. Same game. Which direction you want me to read them? What about for the people at home? All right, we're going to go left to right. Come on, let's get more than that on there. How about 15 more seconds? Who won last week? It wasn't Anthony. Oh, it's was, it was Jim. Jim won it. All right. No, Don Shelton, we won it, not Jim. Oh, it was Don Shelton? Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> That's how it works there. <laughs> All right. So you start this back way up. You can't get in? Can I get somebody from my seat? Play as a teacher, it's more fun. All right, let's make that quick. Now we will work on being more timely in person. Moving forward. All right. <laughs> we had more stuff to show. All right, here we go. Let's get going. How many questions? Are there? Six questions. Okay, which one is not a training date for Seller's Edge? October 14th, October 13th, October 16th, or October 21st? All right. October 13th is not a date. When does bold start? October 20th, October 15th, October 14th, or November 2nd? The 20th, so sign up for it. When does the new session for Ignite start? The newest session for Ignite. October 26th, 21st, October 16th, October 19th. Yeah, October 19th. If you've taken it before, it's okay to take it again. All right, who can attend the ALC meeting? Who's allowed to come to it? Only ALC members, everyone, only those who are on a committee. For those of you that don't know, anytime you see an exclamation point, that's usually the answer. I'm just gonna go with it, trying to drive it home. Oh, it was, yeah, everyone. All right, five of six. How many training classes are there a week for the Command Green Sheets transition? Is it four, two, one, or three? Yeah, so there's plenty of opportunity. When we extend it out, it takes an hour plus, but other than that, it's, it's a short class. All right, last question. What is the name of the report that Michael shared in his market update? So is it the floor report, the direct quarterly report, the HAR monthly reports, or the NAR report? 
Because we're talking about the language of real estate, right guys? That's the language of real estate we're talking about guys, the lore report. Um, so that's what we have every month to really show you what's going on. And you can compare how you're doing with that. The third place, Chris. Second, Longhorn. So close. And a winner, 100 bucks. AO, who's AO? AO, all right. Congratulations. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for coming to our first team meeting. I know with the social distancing. We got through it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming here, and we'll work on our timing next week.